Hi, welcome to How To The Bear. Today we've got a Bosch Classic Tumble Dryer. This is a condenser dryer, but the video will apply to any of the vented and condenser dryers via Bosch, Neff or Siemens. Now, we've got a machine here. It was powering up. It would run for five, six minutes, and then the whole control panel would be dead. And after doing it a couple of times, trying to check the machine, what I found now is the light will not light up at all and the program won't start. I'm suspecting it's a problem with the circuit board, but I'm going to show you how to test the circuit board and possibly repair it. So the first thing we need to do is take the appliance down and have a look under the lid and take the facial panel off. Okay, the first thing we need to do is take the lid off the machine. Two screws at the back. Give it a tap and pull it backwards. Then the lid will come off. Okay, what I'm going to do now is plug this into the mains power supply. Turn the power on and I'm going to set my meter to AC 240 volts and I'm going to check if we've got power coming to the machine and as you can see there we've got 239 volts. Next thing I'm going to check is if there is power coming out of the filter. Again I'm unplugging the machine and now I'm going to follow the two purple wires here all the way up to the circuit board here and there's a plug at the back of the circuit board. I'll zoom in on this for you. Okay, down here you can see there's a plug. We'll just press the button and wriggle this plug out. And that is the dark purple wires which goes to the suppressor. What we're checking now is the power supply coming out of the suppressor to the circuit board. So I'll just put my electronic probes in there. I'll set the meter up so you can see it. And we'll plug it in again. As you can see, we've got 239 volts. This means that we've got power to the circuit board. We could have a problem with the circuit board. So the first thing we're going to do is take the facial panel off and inspect the circuit board because there are some components on the circuit board like the link switch and also some resistors and other bits and pieces which may be causing the problem because I do know that they're a common fault. So unplug the machine from the electricity again. Okay, so we need to remove the water container and I just knocked my screwdriver down the front there. Now you've got a couple of screws inside the facial panel here that need to be removed. And on the side of the facial panel, there's one hidden screw that screws into the side of the panel. Those are all the screws that are needed to remove the facial panel. Now we can carefully, there's a couple of clips at the top here, and you just need to prise the panel away. And now we have the facial panel and that's where the plug lived. So let me zoom in on this so I can show you how to take all these apart. Okay, there's little tabs on the end of each one and we need to depress them while pulling these out. But first things first, always take some photographs of the wiring and where the plugs go. This will assist you when you're reassembling. So we'll take these wires out, just press the lug, give the wire a wiggle, and these have got location lugs into them. Uh, sorry, these have got location lugs in them, 
and they really can only go in one place but it's always a good idea to have photos so at least you've got color coding to go with it and we'll just unplug that one Now these black clips you need to go into the side and just lift them up and that will give you access to remove the wiring. The larger wires are going under the white plastic. And the earth wire there has got a tab on it, which you have to press down to lift out. Now, as you can see here, there's four uh, wires that are pink. So if you notice carefully that there is two lugs in the middle of this one, and there is only two lugs to the left of this one so it's impossible for that one to go in on that side and that's very useful for when you're reassembling okay we've got the circuit board out and now we'll take the circuit board off the facial panel to remove the facial back panel um, from the actual circuit board is a little bit tricky. You'll see that there's plastic clips here, here and here and on the other side there's clips here, here and here and you might need to do a little bit of leverage while lifting the circuit board up and you press the clips in. And that takes the circuit board away. And I can see damage here already. And I was correct on this. It looks like it's the link switch. And what I'll do is zoom in on this for you now. Okay, what you're looking at here is this is the link switch. But just here, where you can see here, is a resistor of some type uh, and the numbers I've had a look at under the microscope uh, the numbers have actually come off this so I don't actually know what the resistance value is on this but I do have a company which I'm going to send this circuit board to to see if they can replace the link switch which normally overheats and causes the problem uh, and it looks like it has taken out this resistor Okay, we've just had the, it's been seven days, we've just had the circuit board come back from the repair center and they have replaced the link switch and they've also replaced, I think it's a diode or resistor, I'm not sure, but I'll put it on the web page. I'll also put a link to this company as well. Uh, if you contact them, they do circuit board repairs and this circuit board repair is normally £40, thereabouts, and they've done a cracking job my eyes nowadays are not good enough to replace link switches and especially that microscopic uh, resistor or diode. Uh, with all the beer donations that you always contribute to me, I would say the shakes have got to a point where, uh, and the age, that uh, I'm not able to replace these easily anymore. But anyway, we'll have a quick look at the circuit board in more detail under the more magnified uh, lens and then we'll replace it into the machine. Just to give you some idea, uh, I'll look at it through there, but this uh, resistor or diode is half the size of a match head, 
Um, this is why I'm just not willing to replace these anymore. My eyes are not good enough and I do not have the professional equipment for it. Also, the link switches are quite finicky as well. And uh, they've done a cracking job on replacing these. And as you can see here, if I can bring it to the lens, this screwdriver, well, there's my thumb and this is a pin head. So if you compare that to that, um, that's how small it is. And the link switch, I'll put the link on as well. Now you can either send your circuit boards into repair at this English company. Very good, uh, well worthwhile. We'll plug it into the machine now and we'll get the tumble dryer all working again. Okay, there's the old housing and this goes in on this side. So we'll just drop that down. Softly press it in. So it goes right behind the lugs. It's very important that you locate this correctly. As the circuit board has got to push up against here and there are a couple of buttons and other bits and pieces. Now the circuit board goes in but this has to locate correctly on here. That's right, I'm going to try and explain this properly to you. The circuit board has got the location lug for the knob. And if I bring this over, here is the knob. And this knob has got three grooves in it. I'll try and bring this up to the camera so it focuses and you've got three grooves in this knob. This knob needs to locate into that hole correctly. So if we look at the circuit board, I'll try and bring this up and hopefully you can see it. You might have to use a big computer screen to see this, but there are three locators inside here. Now what you need to do is the position that's on, you can either get a screwdriver, but I don't recommend it, and rotate it to the position on the off on the knob, or you can actually work out by doing a rotation that the knob needs to be, I would say it's about there, and that is saying, no, nope, that's the wrong way around. So that would be correct. Yep, he's actually sent this back by the look of it in the off position. And if I'm correct, that's the off position. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put these two rubber cushions in. And we're going to drop the circuit board onto the six locator lugs all the way round. And it's very important that you do not force it. You line it up first and just rest it. Then with your hand, rotate it over, softly push, just softly. I can feel the knob is located onto the actual circuit board. Once you've done that, you're then able to push this down so that all the tabs lock in place. It is a very delicate process, but do take your time to do that. And that knob now is turning the program to the correct point. Okay, when you were taking this apart, I did say take some pictures, but all the program plugs or the wiring plugs go into certain locations and they will only go in in one position. So I am just slowly going to go round and connect these up and push them into their location. Now this is why I did say to you it's very important to, let me just bring that up. Uh, my camera keeps locking the photograph, but I am able to see from the photographs I took that we're looking for a brown wire and that goes on to that one and you can see the lugs there 
So I just need to put that one into that location. Next, according to the photograph, this is a double red with two outside lugs, and that is correct. That goes into there. That must be the double purple. Ah, I had the plug the wrong way round, sorry. So that needs to come round because it's going to go under the wiring loop there. And that lives in that one. Now we've got an earth wire, two double pinks and a brown. So we double brown lives on this three plug one. So it's important to get that right. And the earth wire, according to my photograph, lives next to it. And that locks in. So now I need to sort out these three pink wires. Now this one has a double lug and that is in the center so that one can only live double double yeah that can only live there. Then we have one with a red mark on top and according to the photograph that lives there. And then we have a double with one lug and that will live in there. And that's all the wiring done. Now I just need to get these under the correct locations and tidy it all up and put down the clips. That's that locked in. All that wiring can come down over that one there. Just take your time when you're doing this to make sure you get all the wiring tidy. And that double pink can come to there. And I'll just drop these other two wires. over the top there and really I want to be getting some of these wires underneath that lug I don't think I've stuck enough underneath there so we'll just open that up again take them down and that looks neat and tidy okay now we've got the circuit board all the wiring done and it's neat we just need to put the panel up tuck the wires underneath Slide that into location and the panel will clip into place. Next we need to put the small screw in on the side. And that's a small torque and we've got three more screws to go into the water collection box. These are quite difficult to get in because they are quite deep in there. Now we just need to put the collection bowl in. Also, while these are out, it's a good idea to clean them. Just drop the lid on. put the two screws in on the back. Okay there we go we've got it onto the test bay and I'm going to plug it in. Matter of fact I'll put it onto this socket. That's a good sign it didn't go bang and the light is flashing. This means that we've got power going through to the circuit board so I'll just set it to iron dry and we'll press start. And there we go, simple repair 
really affordable to repair a good quality machine like this Bosch. It's a shame the manufacturers make these machines with circuit boards that are such a ludicrous price and we can't just replace them. The company that did the machine for us, fantastic service. I had the parcel back within a couple of days after sending it to them. Uh, I'll put everything on this tutorial. Link is in the description below. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thanks very much indeed for watching. And if you really appreciated the video, you can always click on the Bipolar Beer page and donate to the website. Thanks very much indeed for watching.